Hello and welcome to Brickerton Model Railway. I am Ryan and uh, welcome to the show. So today we have a piece of the church we're going to be doing. The um, Anne Corton AM Models. Um, quality modelling made easy and it's a church lich gate. Uh, that's the assembly instructions there. Very easy to follow. Here is the model itself, very detailed indeed, and I'm just going to go get the paint and show you which paints we're going to be using today. This is a watered down cheap hobby craft paint uh, with a spot of PVA glue in. And then we've got a wash here, which is going to be for the roof. It's a dark grey wash, and it's an enamel paint. Should do the trick. So. What's going to be brown and what's going to be dark grey? Right, the roof's going to be dark grey. The floor's going to be dark grey. They're going to be brown. And the gates are going to be brown. So, we're going to go and apply the paint. So, we're here at my uh, homemade thing. Just this is. I literally put a bit of cardboard around this so I didn't get paint all over the place. We are sorting this garage out this summer, <laughs> whenever that happens. So, anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of all the pieces of glue that are dangling and uh, smoothing down the edges just a little bit. So, most of the glue just pulls off, it's not much. Um, so, now we're going to get a piece of. Well, this is wet and dry, this. I'm going to put it there on the edge. I'm just going to do it so it's nice and smooth and not as rough as a bear's ass. It's so hot at the moment, guys. Right, so if you smooth down, and we're going to do the brown first, so we'll get straight to it because we've got no time to waste. So it's pretty much, right, about one part paint, one part glue, PVA, and uh, about four parts water. So it's, it, it's very watered down. It's, it's making a good job because I only want to stain it really because we don't want to get rid of the of the wooden feel like you know what I mean so if we just zoom me in a bit I don't want to get rid of the wooden texture or anything like that so yeah perhaps perhaps it could do with a couple of coats but it's all it needs like it doesn't need much and by the way I have tested it on the oh crap on the bottom of the workpiece um so I'll get that get that done make sure we don't miss any anywhere I put the PVA in just so it could like, you know, bond a bit easier. Um, but other than that, it, it looks good. Obviously it's going to need a couple of coats. Um, but what doesn't like, you know what I mean? And I've done this first because I know the grey will go over this. If you know what I mean. And I just gotta make sure you gotta make sure you get everywhere. Because we want to make a good job of this. So 
putting plenty of paint on. Plenty of paint. And already I can see it's starting to look like a wooden feel, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to smash on with these gates before this video gets too long and too boring. Let's just check we're in shot here. Well, not me, but the workpiece. So, yeah, like I say, we're just staining it and a couple of coats. Which, it's not going to take long to dry in this heat. Believe me. So there's the first coat of the gate. Now it's time, well, we're going to wait for that to set just a, a little bit. I'm getting new to all this uh, posh stuff, but... There it is at the moment. We're going to make it look good. I'm not doing a half a job on this. So I've changed my mind. We're going to go for a second coat of brown. Because it has been about 20 minutes back, um, about now. Um, let's zoom you in here. Well... I've got to get used to this camera malarkey, ain't I? Now that looks better. That looks way better this time. The paint kind of soaked in. So, like I said before, I'm making sure plenty of paint on the brush. But like you see, this this side's pretty much dry already. So I'm making sure there's plenty on my brush. That one bit there that just doesn't look mean too much. Maybe there's a bit of glue on it or something. And then we'll go through the gates again because. They look like they've literally just been not even touched. Don't get me wrong, this pe this this paint is really watered down, so I can't see it doing much work like, but it is. It you you can tell. Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't notice my hand was in the way. Um, right, so the next thing is obviously getting onto the roof, which will zoom out just a tad. So we've got our wash here. Making sure it's got a Thing. I hardly use the paints here. Just thought we'll zoom her out a, a touch. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. Now, what did I do with me pipette? So, we're going to put the paint into the airbrush with using a pipette. It took me about 10 minutes just to find the pipette. So, we got some in the airbrush. I didn't know if you could see any of that. I didn't look at the camera. Move the brushes to one side. 
and oh, <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna put the the old airbrush there. Put the old airbrush there. Now I need to find something like blue tack or something. Oh, this will do. Got some insulation tape. So if we do that. We roll it around to there. Right, there we go. All fixed. So, as you can see, we're just putting a You shouldn't always use a mask. You should, like, really, honestly, always use some breathing equipment. Just, I'm a bit stupid, and I don't wear it. Stinks. So there's one side looks looks okay actually. I just try not to breathe when it's when the airbrush is going. I'll have to make some sort of extraction system, which could be a video. Right, focus. We'll go again. It's drying very quickly actually, and it looks good. Right, I'll go. I don't want much coming out of the brush so I just adjusted that which then adjusts the movement of the dual action airbrush. Right, we'll go in again. Oh, I just need to go a bit more. A bit more. <laughs> Let's change the camera angle because I don't think you can see much. Right, we'll try that. I will be getting a little bit of a better camera set up um, I'll talk to you more on that at the end of the video um, still be using this one um, but I've got a good couple of ideas
Let's have a look at the level of paint we have. Oh, we have plenty of paint. I didn't feel like it was coming out, but it is. And there we go. It's starting to look really good. Let's get some close up shots. So, let's get some close up shots of the um, of the lich and there's one side There's the other side. It's not done. I think. Um, I need to use the paint up though, which is going to be a bit of a bit of a bugger. Um, but we'll, we'll use it somehow. It's got to be weathered and everything yet, so... Um... This is the uh, the first video of many on this. It's looking great though at the moment. So the enameling, enamel paint uh, job is done. I've had a little bit of a quinky dink though. Um, it's currently about 10 o'clock at night and you'll never guess what. I ran out of thinners. Didn't know. And it's just gone. It's just, just evaporated. Um, so this is part one of the church lich gate, lich gate, something like that, um, on Brickerton Model Railway. The next episode coming up, which should be either tomorrow or the day after, um, is weathering the roof, not weathering it, sorry, finishing the brown off and weathering every, all of it and putting some stuff down and, you know, the usual stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video on Brickerton Model Railway and I'll see you guys in the next episode which is going next episode? Yeah, next episode of which is going to be part two of the Lichgate, Church Lichgate and then we can get on with making the walls become part of the Lichgate and all that sort of stuff and then the church scene is nearly done we've just got to get a couple of trees which I'm going to go buy tonight and, well, off the internet uh, a couple of trees I think we're going to have to have a couple of pieces of wall and that will have to be another day because I'll go get them from the shop. So that should be the church done, I assume. Um, there's nothing else I can think of. I wanted to do a little scene where all the farmer's sheep had got out into the graveyard but 
I haven't had time to do that yet, so that's probably not going to happen. Uh, but thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share it out, um, and we'll be back, obviously. So, see you guys.